dear students greetings of the day in this lecture we will discuss kelly hamilton theorem for linear operator as well as matrices kelly hamilton theorem states that every linear operator satisfies its characteristic equation and for matrices also every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation so in this lecture we will prove this theorem for matrices as well as linear operator and then we solve numericals to find characteristic equation and verify kelly hamilton theorem for linear operator and matrices kelly hamilton theorem statement let t be a linear operator on n dimensional vector space then we prove that t satisfy its characteristic equation if delta x is the characteristic polynomial then delta of t equal to 0 and second statement for matrices every square matrix satisfy its characteristic equation now we prove this theorem let b is equal to basis with n elements of vector space and then we can easily write the matrix relative to t with respect to basis let it be a alpha ij of order n cross n then we can easily find the characteristic polynomial of the transformation so we already discussed in my previous lecture and we denote it by delta x characteristic polynomial of t which is same as tb or a or this equals to determinant of xi minus a and here i is identity matrix of order n cross n so putting the values we are left with determinant of the matrix x minus alpha 1 1 minus alpha 1 2 minus alpha 1 3 so on minus alpha 1 n in second row minus alpha 2 1 x minus alpha 2 2 minus alpha 2 3 minus alpha 2 n the third row minus alpha 3 1 minus alpha 3 2 x minus alpha 3 3 so on alpha 3 n and now writing in the similar manner we write the last row minus alpha n 1 minus alpha n 2 minus alpha n 3 and the last element is x minus alpha n n V. so expanding the determinant we get k not k1 x k2 x square k n minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus x power n so expanding we get a polynomial of degree n and we replace the coefficients alpha is by k not and we let this is equal to delta x and we name it 1 now as the elements of xi minus a that is this matrix are polynomials in x of degree less than equal to 1 that we can see here either we have x or not x so the degree of every element is either 1 or 0 so so the elements of adjoint of xi minus a 
are of degree 1 or less. So, the adjoint of A x i minus A matrix have degree n minus 1 or less. So, let it be adjoint of x i minus A equals B naught B 1 x B 2 x square B n minus 1 x power n minus 1 we let it be 2. We know from matrix theory that for any matrix P, P into adjoint of P is equal to determinant of P into identity. So, using this formula for our matrix that is x i minus a putting the values x i minus a into adjoint of P is this B naught B 1 x B 2 x square x power n minus 1 is equal to putting the value of determinant of p that is from 1 k naught k 1 x k n minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus x power n. Now multiplying these two we get minus a b naught and collecting the like powers b naught a b 1 x b n minus 2 a b n minus 1 x power n equals k naught k 1 x k n minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus x power n. Now comparing the coefficients of like powers of x on both sides. First comparing constant term now multiplying each of the term by first term by i second by a and then so on last by a power n minus 1 and last by a n and now adding vertically we can easily get that on the left hand side all the terms will cancel out and we are left with 0 equals and on the right hand side we have k naught i k 1 a plus here we have 1 k 2 a square k n minus 1 a power n minus 1 plus a power n and we can easily see so this is delta of a now rewriting it as delta of a equal to 0 and we know that delta t of b is equal to delta of a that the characteristic polynomial of t with respect to b is same as characteristic polynomial of the matrix and uh, this imply delta t this matrix equal to 0 matrix is equal to 0 matrix with respect to b which further imply delta of t is equal to 0. So, this proves Kelly Hamilton theorem that every linear operator satisfies its characteristic polynomial. Now, we prove corollary of Kelly Hamilton theorem that is if t is invertible on a vector space vf of dimension n then t inverse is a polynomial in t of degree n minus 1 
Now we start with the characteristic polynomial that is determinant of xi minus a now by equation 1 of the theorem k0 k1x kn minus 1 x power n minus 1 plus x power n now putting x is equal to 0 delta of 0 is equal to determinant of minus a equals k0 which further may be written as determinant of minus a where a is a matrix of order n cross n so minus can be written outside minus 1 power n determinant of a equals to k0 now as t is invertible so its matrix is also invertible so that means determinant of a is non-zero if left hand side is non-zero right hand side is also non-zero now by Kelly Hamilton theorem we have delta of t equals k0 k1 t kn minus 1 t power n minus 1 t power n so we already know that by Kelly Hamilton theorem every linear operator satisfy its characteristic equation so this equal to 0 now from here writing k0 i on the left hand side and taking all other terms to the right hand side and taking t common k1 i k2 t kn minus 1 t power n minus 2 t power n minus 1 dividing both sides by k0 we get i is equal to minus t times k1 by k0 i k2 by k0 t 1 by k0 t power n minus 1 now taking t inverse on both sides so we get t inverse of t k1 by k0 i k2 by k0 t t power n minus 1 so this we get t inverse is so this is i minus of k1 k0 i k2 by k0 t t power n minus 1 so which proves that t inverse is a polynomial in terms of t of degree less than equal to n minus 1 next definition for minimal polynomial of linear operator and matrix first definition for linear operator let t be a linear operator mx is called minimal polynomial if and only if mx is a monic polynomial means leading coefficient is 1 number 2 mt equal to 0 means t satisfy this polynomial and the degree of mx is least and uh, same definition for matrix let a be a scare matrix of order n cross n then a polynomial mx is said to be minimal polynomial of a matrix a if and only if mx is of least degree leading coefficient is 1 and a is a 0 of mx.